Hello everybody, welcome back to EverQuest 2. Uh, as promised, continuing with the starting zones of EverQuest 2, I've moved over to uh, Greater Fear Dark. Can't say I'm happy about it. <laughs> I don't like playing goodies. I don't like playing any kind of goodies, really. Um, I've always avoided playing on the on the good side. I think I created one going back oh, almost be four or five years ago. It was probably when the expansion for Greater Fear Dark first came out uh, for Kelethin and. I bit the bullet <laughs> and decided I would make a, a, a frog lock, which I've never made before either. So this is going to be something newish for me as well. Uh, let's have a quick look through what options we've got here. There we are. I'll get away call. These call croaks. I didn't think I'd get away with it, but I did. C R O A K E S. I thought that's bound to have gone by now after all this time. Uh, right, upgrades, that doesn't come into effect yet. Right. Um, development, that doesn't come into effect yet either. What bags have we got? Oh, these beginner bags. I'd have to sort that out at some point with my other characters. As you all know, this is on the split pass server, which is the Euro server. Uh, so let's have a look at what we've got here. That's sprint, ranged attack, faith strike. Oh right, okay. If it's two to four divine damage on target, heals caster for two. That's quite handy. That's uh, on number four button. Right, I really need to change that as well, chat. Window settings. Ah, that's what it is. I was looking for. There we go. I'd rather see the chat as it comes up rather than having a dead space there. Right, um, what else have we got? So we see what it looks like without his helmet. If I can remember how to do it. Options. Hide head cover. Ooh, right, there he is, Croaks. In all his glory. Right, without further ado, let us start this walkthrough of the... Greater Fair Dark Newbie Zone. Matron of the Nursery, hello. How are you? Nice to see you. I'm so pleased that you answered my summons. Look at what has become of the nursery. These shrumblers appear suddenly and have been devouring the roots of our precious flowers. The flowers could all wither and perish. Okay. I'll take care of that, shall we? First quest. Another one there by the look of it, yes. Don't Wait. be shy. Come closer, my dear, and I'd be happy to answer any questions you have about collections or harvesting. Uh, I really don't need to... Oh. I might as well complete it. Collectibles are your quest. Continue to gather and examine all the items you find until all the items found through harvesting are the basic building blocks of trade skills. They cannot be sold to vendors, but they can be traded or sold to other players who need them for their respective trade skill professions. Some components that can be found through harvesting are very rare and can be worth quite a bit of money to trade skillers. Okay, the skill required to harvest in a given area increases along with the difficulty of the area. If you find that you are unable to harvest in an area, you should return to a less difficult area and practice. Okay, well that's outdated now because you can at level one can harvest in a level hundred zone. 
so that's gone out the window apparently collections the are seen as a glow rising from the ground if you're close enough you'll notice a question mark above it double click or right click the glow and select harvest the item you gather will go into your inventory you can examine this item in your inventory your quest journal will open up automatically to the collections tab. Use the add button to add that item to a collection. As you travel through Norath, you'll find different collectibles in different areas of the world. Some items can be part of more than one collection. Continue to gather and examine all the items you find until all the icons of that collection are highlighted in your quest journal. Then you'll be able to turn the completed collection into a collector who will reward you with some experience. If you already have a collectible in all collections that call for it, you can sell it to a merchant or trade it to another player. Well, I'd like to learn about harvesting and gathering now. The that? items found through harvesting are the basic building blocks of trade skills. They cannot be sold to vendors, but they can be traded or sold to other players who need them for their respective trade skill professions. Some components that can be found oh, through I harvesting... Done that. The skill required Thanks for the information. All right. It repeats. I'm hurrying. Oh, look at this. Don't rush me. Gathering. Seven jum jum. Let's have a look at these. One of four. Okay, that's weird. Don't seem to be getting the uh, the updates for the skill going up. I thought that was still in it, even though they they changed the what levels you can harvest at. Well, oh, maybe they're taking it out now. I know this is the boring bit, folks, but it's got to be done. Got to complete this quest. I need some roots. One more leg cluster. Oh, God, we need sunfish. Where do you want to get them from? <laughs> right, okay. Combat at the start. You need some more skills, rapid. <laughs> That's going to annoy me as well, the way he moves. That hopping. Oh, rare item found, a arrow. That's worth all of one copper. <laughs> three or three on roots. Uh, that's all exposed. Oh, we need a trap. It's all red over there by the look of it, as you saw then. Yes, red. Level 9. That is not an area we want to go to. There's a rodent den. We need that. We need pelts. There's two. Ah, oh, three. Right, okay. 
seem to remember from a long time ago there's a, a pond near here. Or two. Where are you, pond? Oh well, after ways we come across it. I want to turn this quest in. Report to the matron in the nursery. Preferably today. I'm dingling. Level two. Is this something I can help with? What can I do? No voice lighting, okay. Collect face here. I'm tempted to say face here, but I don't think that's right. Face here, herbs, okay. Uh, there's one. Easy peasy. I've forgotten what this all looks like. It doesn't look bad, does it? Hi. Uh, Sentry Talvi, where the hell are them? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh god, not you noob. What are they? It's a sentry. <laughs> Alright, where is he? Uh, right down the road. And we got some armour. Let's have a look. Alright, we can equip those. Full strength, yes. Those are worth nothing. Destroy. Harvesting bag. Get rid of that for the time being, because we don't need it. Destroy it. Let's put that in there. There we go. And the harvest should all go in there now, by rights. Alright, that can't go in. Tin cluster can. Right, where's this sentry? And we're near level three already. Wow. Aren't you glad to see me? <laughs> I don't know really, am I? <laughs> there we go. Ding a wing. Large fair crate. Uh, Travelling pouch and gauntlets. What's that for? Oh, this can be placed in your house. Great, that's just what I need. <laughs> house items when I don't have a house. Kill two wasp foragers. Oh, that's nursery defender. Okay. Can't attack those. some skill ups now. Nice. Did 
didn't look at these skills, did I? I forgot that. Prayer of healing. Um, right, I'll go on all one. What have we got here? Judgment. Interrupt target. Right, I want my taunts to be at this end, really. So let's leave that there and put that at number five. I'm saying I want taunts there. I don't know if uh, we can get those. That's got to be a quest. Yes. Uh, 26 mitigation, better than what I'm wearing. Five five. You see, I can still keep hunting these now to get the uh, the updates for the other quest, the patchwork tapestry. I know they don't drop very often, though. If I remember rightly. A new hat. Take a while to get all seven of those, I think. Let's do a couple more, see if we get any more. If not, we'll go and turn the quest in. That noise he makes, we heard that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it sounds like he's gonna throw up. Braces, 32 mitigation, and yeah, they're better. Oh, you can sell those, I think. Keep those for a minute. Let's go and turn the quest in, shall we? Kill this one on the way back. I'm sure we're going to be killing more fairies on the way. Aren't you glad to see me? Except, except. What do we get then? Recover the face buried blooms. Right, it's all the way over this way. Yellow jackets, these are yellow, oh goody. Yeah. Oh, I've got some aggro ones as well, excellent. Need the upgrades. Range, disruption, let's get the defense upgrades, that's more important. <laughs> now, I've never played a pally before, so this is going to be interesting. Now. Obviously, I know it's uh, like a healing tank, but... Might be interesting the way it plays. Alright, basket of fair blooms. 
I'll return. How come they? For the fairy things and these aren't. Well off water. What do we get this time? Night stunts. Wrath stunts. Alright, so all we've got. Increases strength of cast away 11.9. Alright, oh, okay, so this is the um, attack boost buff. And this will be the defensive buff. Alright, okay, let's put that there. I bet you can't have both on. No, you can't. Alright, we'll put, leave the attack one on then for the time being. Where are we going? Turn into this gentleman over here. I said gentleman, you've got wings. Tis a fay. Aren't you glad to see me? Okay. There we go, and I think that will bring us to the end of this first episode in Greater Fair Dark. Uh, thanks very much for watching, guys and girls. This is all grey, signing off. <laughs>